Hi, Faith Kids friends. So glad that you are here with us today. I'm Yaya. And I'm Vicar Nick. And Vicar Nick, you have the most amazing armor ever. Why, thanks, Miss Yaya. See, the fun fact for this is that we all have this armor. And you see, as we come into our final week of this series on the armor of God, we are all fully equipped now to head back to school. So in this final week, we're going to be looking at the sword of the Spirit and the helmet of salvation. But before we get on to that topic, let's take a moment and pray. Repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for your son. Thank you for your son. Thank you for Jesus' sacrifice. Thank you for Jesus' sacrifice. On our behalf. On our behalf. Through him. Through him. We all have salvation. We all have salvation. Continue to guide us. Continue to guide us. And equip us. And equip us. For the school year ahead. For the school year ahead. And everyone says, Amen. Amen. Well, Vicar Nick, guess what time it is? <gasps> it's time for announcements, announcements, announcements. announcements. Let's give a big shout out to our friends celebrating their birthdays this month. Hi, everyone. I'm Yaya, your Associate Director of Worship Arts Ministry here at Faith, and I am thrilled to announce that Growing in Faith and Struck by Faith Choir will begin rehearsals virtually. Virtually! Yes, virtually. And our first rehearsals will be on Wednesday, September 16th. For Growing in Faith, it is meant for our kinder to fifth grade students, and Struck by Faith is meant for our sixth to twelfth grade students. We welcome newcomers who seek to be a part of a family who wants to share their talents together singing. Singing! Thank you, yes, through singing. Yes, thank, thank you very much, yes. Anyway, if you want to be a part of this amazing choir, then definitely email me at y.morales-adamo at faithce.com and I'll provide you all the details and how to log on to our virtual choir. I cannot wait to see you, so let's get together on September 16th. I'll see you there. We will see you there. What they said. Today's memory verse is... Finally, be strong in the Lord and His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. It's God story time! We're sort of like a rainbow of color. If we take all the fruits of the Spirit to school with us, equipped with all the fruits mentioned in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23, then God's love can shine through us. Now, most of you have been to the store by this point to get all of your school supplies. How many of you included a box of crayons on that list? Crayons were always among 
my favorite school supplies. I just loved to color. And today, we're going to use the colors to help us remember different ways we can show God's love in school. Now, school can be a bit tough. And yet, here's what will be important for us all year long. We want others to see God's love in us. At home, you can draw this rainbow to help remind us of the fruits of the Spirit. The first is love and joy. And you can color that red. Love means treating others as you would want to be treated. And joy means going around with a smile on your face. Now the next is peace and patience. And that arc can be orange. If people are arguing, try to make peace. You have to have an awful lot of patience with school. You have to wait for others. You have to finish work when you'd rather be playing. And you can think, I'm practicing God's patience when you have to wait for things. Now the next arc can be colored yellow. And that arc is kindness. Kindness involves being nice to people. Even when they're aggravating you. Even when they're making you mad. And that's really hard. But Jesus managed to be kind and good even when he was dying on the cross. He said, Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. If we could be that kind, the world would be a much more peaceful place. The next arc of your rainbow is goodness, and that can be colored green. Wherever we go, we should practice being good. When I was in school, there was a system for when you were good and bad. If you were good, you got a green light. If you were acting up, a yellow light. And if you were bad, a red light. The next arc of your rainbow can be in blue. And that represents gentleness. School can be really, really loud. As Christians, we don't want to add to the wrong kind of noise. We don't want to interrupt or speak loudly to outdo someone. Gentleness means we don't want to push and shove. The next arc of your rainbow is self-control, and that color can be purple. Self-control means keeping your hands to yourself, not yelling when someone upsets you, and definitely not hurting other people's feelings. Now, last but not least is faithfulness, and you can use pink to color that. Faithfulness means that you forgive your friends when they hurt or annoy you. You don't gossip about them. You don't find new friends every time there's a disagreement. You stay faithful to them. So these are the arcs of the rainbow for the fruits of the Spirit. Now, for each color, once you draw your rainbow, go ahead and write in the arc what that fruit of the Spirit is. So remember, red is love and joy. Orange is peace and patience. Yellow is kindness. Green is goodness. Blue is gentleness. Purple is self-control. And pink is faithfulness. Now, there's one more thing you can add to your picture. In the corner of your picture, you can draw a sun. And guess who the sun represents? That's right. The sun represents God. So once you finish your painting, go ahead and put it in your room. Put it on your fridge. Put it somewhere to help you remember that throughout the year at school, you're going to practice the fruits of the Spirit. Now, as we come to the end of this month, we have two more pieces of the armor of God to talk about. So just as we have the fruits of the Spirit, we also have the armor of God. 
So far, we've talked about the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, feet fitted with the gospel of peace, and the shield of faith. Now, the last couple of items are the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. The fifth piece of the armor is the helmet of salvation. And for our modern day example, I thought a bicycle helmet fit just right. Because the helmet helps to protect our head. And our faith in salvation protects us and allows us to live bold and trusting lives in God. We have to think about and be confident in the salvation God gives us through Jesus. Now the last piece of the armor of God is the sword of the Spirit. The sword is the word of God or the Bible. Now the modern day example of this would be a Bible. The Bible, however, is not a weapon. The Bible is a gift and a tool to be used to help us learn about God and to grow in our faith. It is a way to be connected to God. For me in the army, I keep this tiny Bible in my shoulder pocket. Wherever I go, I have my Bible with me. Sometimes things are scary and difficult, where there is a lot of downtime, and the Bible helps me remember that God is with me and that my faith is in God. With the fruits of the Spirit and with the armor of God, we are all well equipped to handle the challenges that lay ahead. But I want to remind you all that when things get difficult, we can also rely on one another. These tools help us to remind us that God is with us and that we have one another to help pick us up when times get hard. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the fruits of the Spirit. Thank you for the armor of God. Help us to use these symbols to remember your love, your grace, and your mercy. Help us as we continue into this new school year. Help guide us and protect us. It is in your name that we pray. Amen. Three, two, one. What does a sun represent on our picture? Is it the Bible, God, or school? That's right, it is God. It's time for worship. Hey friends, let's call on our Faith Kids Band. Hey Faith Kids Band, let's play! All right, Faith Kids, let's sing On the March! All right, let's see you marching. Let's get that march going. Here we go, one, two, three, four! Up, I stand my ground. I'm in the army of God now. I'm not alone. There's many more. We're gonna change the world. I'm not afraid. How can I be? My God is here. He's with me. I shine a light, a light for you in everything I do. God is on the march again. Hey, hey, we're on the march again. Hey, hey, we're on the march again. I straightened up, I stand my ground. I'm in the army of God now. I'm not alone. March again. Hey, hey, we're on the march again. Hey, hey, 
truth. I got that. The breastplate of righteousness. I got that. On your feet, the gospel of peace. I got that. Hold up the shield of faith. I got that. Put on the helmet of salvation. I got that. Lift high the sword of the spirit. I got that. Now you're wearing the armor of God. Cause we're a part of the army now. We're gonna change the world. We're gonna change the world. The army of God is on the march again. Hey, hey, we're on the march again. Hey, hey, we're on the march again. We're gonna change the world. We're gonna change the world. The army of God is on the march again. Hey, hey, we're on the march again. Hey, hey, we're on the march again. Let's march it out, everybody. Here we go. March, 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 march. Because God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. See you next time, Faith Kids. What a great song to worship today, On the March. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining us. We are so glad you are with us today, and we hope to see you next week. That's right. We had a blast getting to worship with you this week. And listen, we want to continue to grow in our faith journey together. Because here at Faith, it's all about building relationships that matter. So we look forward to seeing you next week.